Hello, in this problem we're going to find the partial derivatives of this function, del z del x and del z del y. So let's go ahead and work through it very carefully. Solution. So when we're looking for del z del x, we want to treat all the other variables as constants. So it might be beneficial to rewrite z as follows. It's really x times 1 over y. And so we're basically treating all of this as a constant when we go through the process of finding del z del x. So del z, del x. So the derivative of x is 1, and the constant just hangs out, which is 1 over y. So you just end up with 1 over y. And that would be the partial of z with respect to x. Again, when you're finding the partial of z with respect to x, you want to treat all of the other variables as constants. So in this case, the bottom piece is a constant. So it helps to write it like this so you can clearly see it's being multiplied by a constant, right? This is really over one, so these are the same thing. And so this just hangs out. So to find del z del y, where the x is a constant. So in this case, um, because the y is on the bottom, let's bring it up so we can write z equals x times y to the negative one. And there's really a one here, right? So when you bring it upstairs, the one on the exponent becomes negative. All right, so now we're gonna differentiate this and then the x is a constant because we're finding del z del y. So del z del y. So the x is a constant, so it hangs out. So you put the negative one in the front. So negative x, and then you subtract one from the exponent. So negative two. It might be beneficial to write this in a better way. Maybe we can bring this one back downstairs and write this as negative x over y squared. And so that would be the partial of z with respect to y. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.